babies. It's that time again. Oh, yeah. All right, people, we are in the gospel according to Frank. And boy, <laughs> you try to get some spirituality out of YouTube, and what do you get? You come away with, huh? Yeah, so that's why you got to dig down deep into your own gospel, honey. Find the light of life in you. Treasure it. And let it loose. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this guy. His name is Mike Parsons. Um, generally, I, I like much of what he says, but occasionally he gets into these areas that are just a little too esoteric for me, and you know, this particular one I saw yesterday was about like like the spirit is in the center of us, and then there's our soul Then there's our body and sort of like these concentric circles sort of and he was explaining how like there's different portals to get from one to the other and I'm just like really <laughs> it just seems like unnecessarily confusing instead of just Respond to the spirit in you and let him teach you. Yield to what he's teaching you and he will transform you. I, I don't think it needs to get any more complicated than that. So that was frustrating. And then um, I got into um, a little bit of listening to Katie and um, no time like the presence. And she was just, you know, overall, yeah, her teachings are okay, but her manner is just really manic. And she's stuck on this idea that only she alone <laughs> is the wife of Jesus. I don't know how that message got crossed but oh my lord I mean if we're actually going to count souls probably the bride of Christ has at least three million <laughs> I'm just it could be more like 240 million I don't know but it doesn't seem like it's anywhere near one <laughs> Wow. And if you were the one, would you be manic? I don't think so. I think you would be chill. You'd be composed. And you would be focused. And your teachings would be uh, fluid. And you wouldn't be unable to answer criticisms calling you schizophrenic and in need of mental <laughs> mental health support. It's I mean I'm laughing and I really shouldn't because it's sad, but then again when you double down on something like that it, it really starts to become comical and 
I'm just saddened by that. I really am. I mean, even though I'm chuckling at it, it's sad because to see somebody who's seems to be connected in many ways in understanding God and how he operates and then to think you're the only wife of Jesus it's like <laughs> wow I mean that's just I don't know it makes me laugh because it's so ridiculous but it's really sad I can't it's hard to explain so yeah that's what's going on there then uh, today is a half day at school. I teach as a special ed uh, teacher for mostly emotionally challenged kids, many of whom are suicidal, um, some of whom are autistic, most of whom are just adorable, needing attention and love. And today we have a half day and also a staff celebration day where we will be chowing down properly on some pizza, some chicken wings, nachos, potato skins, and some beverages. <laughs> so that's what's going on today. Um, it's freezing. My car's heat is not optimal. So I'm hanging in there, babies. And what can we say? We can say that in spite of all of these misfires on YouTube, and there are many, most of whom I've blocked, We always have the opportunity to be still, be quiet, and learn to hear God better. Yes, baby. One of the things I liked that Mike Parsons was talking about was using the five senses that we experience in our human form as um, senses that also operate in the spiritual realm. So anytime you get these parallels between the physical plane and the spiritual, I, you get me interested because I know God to be, you know, the paradoxical prism that he is and so so many things are multi-layered and connected in deeper and deeper meanings so you know we know that when he created the world he didn't just create it just oh it would be nice to have some trees and whatever there's meaning behind everything and so I uh, I think it's useful to stay expectant for teachings that connect the spiritual realm with the physical. Yeah, baby. In fact, I think one of the teachings that's really harmful, it seems to be so prevalent in a lot of fundamentalist Christianity is this idea of being raptured and taken away from here and to the point where people are like hoping God does it today because I can't take this anymore you got to get me out of here God I mean what kind of <laughs> what kind of witness is that that's like the worst witness ever and if you're looking for any uh, indication that you might be believing something that's not helpful check out your behavior if you're not feeling peaceful powerful energetic motivated ready to take on the world then you, your philosophy is in 
need of some fine tuning.